What if you could align your whole team on a project's vision before the project even kicks off? Welcome to day 18 of the 31 day AI challenge. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a project charter and a project presentation using AI so that everyone rows in the same direction. And we will be mixing design thinking and AI, starting from a design thinking canvas and then moving into some tools to really create the deliverables. Hi, I'm Lena and in this channel we explore how to work smarter using design thinking and AI. If people don't share the same purpose or they are not clear on the impact of their work, the project won't succeed. That's why I love the Project Compass Canvas because it really aligns people from the one around the vision, around the goals of the project, so that everyone is on board and everyone is rowing in the same direction. This is the canvas that we are going to use to create our project vision. This is something that I always use when I start a new project. I really like this canvas because it's a simple canvas but really covers why are we doing this project and the key elements required to start the project with confidence confidence and to make sure that we have everything we need. This is something that I usually brainstorm with the team either in a workshop room or online using a canvas tool like Miro. I have a template for you and I will share it in the description. So first of all we are going to brainstorm why are we doing this project, what is the purpose of the project. Then we want to understand what positive change will the project have in the team, in the company, in the society, in the industry. This is very important and I think in these times it's becoming more and more important for people to really see the impact of their work. Then we are going to cover the sponsorship, who is going to sponsor the program and what kind of support we need from them. Then the typical deliverables, results or outputs of the project and a plan including milestones. Then the resources that we need and then finally we're going to think about the risks. What are the potential challenges or obstacles that could impact the success of the project? And to cover this with one example, I'm going to use the Change Sprint. This is a cohort that we are going to launch in September to help leaders lead change with confidence. I have already discussed about the Change Sprint in some previous videos. It's a program that we are currently developing at my consulting company, Share PLM, to influence people and to manage change and it will start in September 17th and we are currently working on the marketing and the promotion and I will use this example because it's simple and we can use it as a basis to explain how to create a project charter and a executive project presentation. So we are going to share our process. This is an exercise that we did with the team at Share PLM and we are going to start with the purpose and the vision. Why are we doing this project? In our case, for the change sprint, we want to equip professionals to lead change with confidence. We want to shift focus from technology to people in digital transformations, create a structure playable for enabling change, and build a network of change leaders who learn together. Now the impact. What positive change will this project bring to our team, company, society or industry? In the case of the change sprint, we want to build tech that works for people and not the other way around. We want to inspire a new generation of leaders who see change as an opportunity and not a threat, long-term capability for organizations to lead change on their own, empower leaders who can influence and align their teams, and produce faster transformation results. Now we are going to look into the sponsorship, who are the key sponsors and what support do we need from them. We need our CEO to provide the vision and the credibility, we need the head of business development to connect with prospects and partners, the head of delivery who will be working on the content and then the marketing team to drive awareness and to manage the marketing campaigns. Now we are going to look into the deliverables. What tangible results or outputs will this project produce? We want a marketing strategy that builds in public and engages the community. We want an eight-week interactive program which will be a cohort and it will include coaching and exercises. It will also include practical templates and worksheets. We are planning to launch the sprint with a webinar to attract participants. Peer-to-peer -peer learning and support network is a huge asset. And we will also provide a certificate of completion. Let's look at the plan. What are the key milestones and timeline for this project? In this case, we will start with a webinar 
It will be a kickoff webinar to introduce the change sprint and we will use it as a marketing campaign to engage audience. Then the program series will start directly after the webinar and we will have an email marketing campaign, sales calls to qualify and convert and the enrollment process will start. Then the cohort delivery will start on September 17th and we will have weekly sessions with the facilitator and it will be an interactive workshop to learn the content of the program. Then the management of the program, making sure that we engage participants, that we keep the feedback loop open and adapt in real time, also reviewing the exercises and having a support system for participants during the sprint. And finally, the closing. We will provide a certificate of completion, we will collect final feedback and testimonials and share success stories for future marketing. Now we are going to look into the resources what people, tools or materials do we need to succeed. In this case, we need a marketing team around 20 hours a week to prepare and write the campaigns. We need a closer, a facilitator during the program, the program developer who will conceive the vision for the program. We need some money, some budget to do promotion and ads to drive traffic to the sprint. And then we need the key teams, marketing, delivery and business development, around two to three hours a week just to participate in the meetings and to provide input. Finally, the risk. What potential challenges or obstacles could impact the project success? In this case, we might not be able to sell enough seats to fill the cohort, delays in delivery or program launch timeline. Maybe the content is not engaging enough, mistakes in the tech setup, so some errors with the webinar, with the funnel, with the email marketing campaigns. We need to be extra careful there, insufficient interaction. And here I think it's good to really think about what can go wrong. So do a kind of pre-mortem and think about everything that can go wrong. That's it. We have it. We have our canvas filled and now we are going to use this canvas to create a program charter and a project executive presentation. Okay, so we need to export it or take a screenshot of this. I'm going to export it. And we are going to use this export to create our charter. I'm in ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to write a concise but explanatory project charter using this canvas as a basis. I want simple language and easy to read format, something that I can distribute to my team and sponsors. And we need to upload the canvas. And we are going to click enter. And you can see that it's going to build the charter. This is just test. But I'm going to show you something that's really cool that you can do here. You need to enable agent mode. And now you can say create an executive presentation to introduce the change sprint project. Use my canvas and project charter as a basis, make it a minimalistic design and use nice graphics, stick to my branding guide and make sure that you have the agent mode enabled. I'm going to also upload my branding guide from SerpLN which has my colors, it has some fonts and so on. And you can see now that it is sharing the process. This is the ChatGPT agent and it will start to create a presentation. It will take a couple of minutes and I will come back. Okay, so now it's ready and you can see that I have here my presentation. It has the branding guides and it starts with some purpose and vision, then something about the deliverables and the plan who are the sponsors and what are the resources required and then something about risk and mitigation. 
and this is something that you can download and you can edit it's a powerpoint presentation the good thing of this is really that you can change this maybe the format is not spectacular but you can you can change this and edit it this is the you can go and you can move this around and change it so yeah this is this is quite useful I'm going to show you one more. I'm going to ask Perplexity to create a visual short executive presentation to present the change print. Use the canvas describing use the canvas describing the project and the branding guide attached. And I need to upload my branding guide and my canvas. And you need to have labs enabled and you need to have the pro version. And you are going to click enter. And it will start to think and to plan. It will take some minutes and it will come back. Okay, this is the result. And you can see that it has taken my colors and my branding guide. I can open it in full screen. And you can see that it has a nice layout. It covers the bases, what it has set. And it has some implementation timeline, some requirements, and a risk assessment. And it looks good. You have the assets here, and you can download this chip file, and then you can unpack it, and then you can open the index HTML file. And this is something that you can upload to a website. You can also sell it in SharePoint or in the company intranet. This is something that is very useful and professional. This was it. I hope you enjoyed it and you can start using design thinking and AI in your projects. And I will see you tomorrow in day 19 of the challenge. Hasta mañana.